For the next 100 days, I'm gonna be at war in Minecraft. Can I survive horrible battles from the caveman period, medieval times, modern day, and the future? And can I stop the mysterious man pulling the strings? You'll have to watch until the end to find out. On day one, I spawned in as a caveman. Ooga booga. A war was raging all around me. There were cavemen duking it out everywhere. Guys, let's all just be friends. As I pleaded, a caveman came up and started attacking me. Okay, you asked for it. I joined the battle and began to fight off the swarm of cavemen around me. Even though it was only day one, I could still pack a punch. After a lot of fighting, I managed to take down the last caveman. Ooga booga. As a caveman, I could only craft wooden tools. So I got to gathering. I punched some trees and used my new materials to make a crafting bench and wooden tools. Afterwards, I dug up some dirt and used it to make a basic hut. This'll have to do for now. On day two, I was trying to sleep when I was attacked by a triceratops. Hi, big guy. I did my best to fight back, but the dinosaur was much more powerful than me. I was on the brink of death when suddenly a man teleported in front of me, killing the triceratops in one hit. Hello, Max. How do you know my name? I know everything about you, Max. I'm Kato. I'll make this simple. War rages all around us, and you're going to fix it. What? How? I'll be taking you to multiple wars in different time periods. Here, the caveman era, medieval times, the wild west, the present, and the future. You must win each war. And how do I do that? That will reveal itself in due time. Good luck, Max. On day three, I woke up confused about last night. The only thing I knew for sure was that I was hungry. I went out to search for food and found a group of pigs and cows. I clubbed them for their meat and ate them up. Uh, breakfast. Suddenly, I was ambushed by a group of cavemen. Give meat. No, Max want meat. Then Max fly. The cavemen started to attack me. I tried my best to fight them off, but their numbers were too great. As I was about to die, another caveman jumped into the fray and began to fight off the others. With our combined forces, we managed to defeat the cavemen. Thank you. Me, Gronk. Nice to meet you. Me, Max. Come back to base. You help us win war. Maybe this is what Kato was talking about. Oh. Huh? Nothing? Max go to base with Gronk? Mm-hmm. Before we get to the next day, I wanted to tell y'all about Monster Legends. It's this awesome free-to-play mobile game featuring over 900 monsters. It's available on all devices, so everyone can take part in it. Each monster has different elements and rarities, so you can customize your monster empire. Plus, there's new monsters being added all the time. To grow your monster empire and level up, you'll need to gather food, gold, and gems. Breed your monsters and mix and match them to create new elemental mixtures. Now, like all little babies, these monsters need food to evolve, and you can also also boost their stats with runes, relics, and talents. Challenge your friends or monster masters in battle, but your team needs to be the best there is to win rewards, earn trophies, and become the best in the league. You can even join an alliance so you can interact with other masters and enter exclusive events for sweet loot. One of the coolest features of Monster Legends is the YouTuber Island. You can find all sorts of monsters created by some of the biggest YouTubers. Maybe even one day I'll get one. They have super awesome skills that the creators choose for them. All that sounds pretty sick, huh? Well, it gets even better. If you use the link in the description or the QR code, you'll get a special free starter pack of 50,000 food, 300,000 gold, 10 gems, and the epic monster Kaori. Thanks, Monster Legends, for sponsoring this video. On days four through seven, we returned to Gronk's campsite, where he introduced me to everyone else. Everyone, meet Max. As I was getting to know the tribe, a big caveman approached us. Outsiders not welcome at camp. Max, who? Trust Gronk. No, me challenge Max to combat. What? Why? Fighting skills prove if Max should be at camp. Then let's do it. We began to brawl it out, but his size wasn't just for show. He was my toughest opponent yet. Each hit from his club packed a punch. You are not true caveman. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Despite my hesitations, I was still able to defeat him in battle. Me surrender. Welcome to camp. I was now an official member of the village. On days 8 through 10, I explored the world further, when suddenly I was once again visited by Kato. Your work here is almost complete. Where am I going next? Let's just say dragon swords and shields await. Suddenly, they disappeared. I decided it was best to prepare for the unknown and went out to gather as many materials as I could. I gathered tons of wood and even cobblestone. I am sick of using wooden tools. After gathering what I needed, I returned to camp to find Gronk looking for me. War ends tonight. Will Max help take down camp's biggest rival? 
You got it, sport. We travel together until reaching a caveman hideout. There, an army of cavemen awaited us, as well as a giant T-Rex. It's time to win this war. The rest of the village arrived, and we all stormed in and began to fight off the other cavemen with our clubs. I took extra care to avoid the T-Rex, since he looked powerful. We continued to fight until every last caveman was taken down. Now it's just you, big guy. Gronk and I began to battle the dinosaur, but he was incredibly powerful. He could take my hits and would do massive damage with each of his own. However, I was far more skilled with my club. Take this, you big lizard! I took out another club and began to wail on the T-Rex. Gronk and I managed to finally take down the beast, and I claimed his skull. Gronk, we did it! We won the war! While celebrating, I was teleported. On days 11 through 14, I teleported to a new time period with my dirt hut. Before I could take in my surroundings, Kano appeared. You're probably wondering where you are. 532 AD, more commonly known as medieval times. A war rages here. Win it. How? You'll see. Oh, and this old dirt hut is your time machine. You might want to spruce it up a bit. They disappeared, leaving a chest in their place. I decided to investigate and found a sweet sword inside. Awesome! I took out my sword, making me feel like a real knight. All I need now is armor. Later that day, I decided to test out my weapon on some spiders and killed them with ease. This will definitely come in handy. The next morning, I took Kato's advice and used wooden stone to make the base look nicer. Looking good! Afterwards, I realized I was no longer a caveman and upgraded to stone tools. Oh, stone, how I've missed you. As night fell, some zombies emerged in the distance. I decided to fight them off to prepare for the battles that lay ahead. And honestly, I took them out pretty easily. Ah, I can take on anything! On days 15 through 17, I was approached by a knight riding a horse. You there, you seem fit for battle. Join our cause and help end this war. Sure, who are we fighting? The Dark Lord of the West. Ooh, that sounds evil. Truly, she is the darkest lord of the era. Well, I'll take out anything that's evil, so I'm in. The knight led me to a dark, mysterious castle. We're sneaking in to end this once and for all. Just us? That's right. You ready? I guess so. Before moving in, he handed me a bow and arrows. He also applied a splash potion of armor so I could endure more hits. The two of us snuck up a ladder hidden on the side of the castle and stealthily took out some guards. We continued forward until we reached the Dark Lord's bedroom. However, when we arrived, she was gone. It's a trap. Suddenly, enemy guards swarmed the room. We tried to fight them off the best we could, but there were too many. Escape while you can and notify the king. Tell him that Sir Reinhardt sent you. I don't know where he is. Head east, go now. As much as I wanted to stay and help, I had no choice but to flee. On days 18 through 21, I retreated back to my base and decided to further prepare for the battle to come. I ventured out and found some more cows and pigs to eat for food. I also went mining for more materials and found stone as well as coal and iron. Iron. I crafted a furnace and cooked up my food, as well as began smelting some iron ingots. With my new iron, I made a proper set of armor for me to wear, completing my medieval look. Now that's more like it. Lastly, I added a little more to the base, since it would be coming with me during my travels. With my necessary preparations made, I set off east in search of the king. I traveled through multiple biomes, before reaching a huge castle. This must be the place. Before I was able to enter, guards stopped me at the gate. State your business. Sir Reinhardt sent me. Reinhardt, how do you know our commander? Before I was able to continue, the king revealed himself in the entrance. No need to pester the boy. Let him in. I entered the castle and began to speak with the king about everything that had happened with the ambush and Reinhardt. Reinhardt could be captured, or even worse. Thank you for telling me this, Max. In the meantime, I need a new commanding officer to take charge. Do you have what it takes? I'm up for the challenge. On days 22 through 25, the king introduced me to his army. I quickly discovered just how pathetic the army was. There were only a few soldiers, and none of them had battle experience. Much of my army was killed from the ongoing war. Can you help? They're the saddest bunch I've ever met. But once I'm done, they'll be men. You hear that, boy? Hear what? I'm gonna make you the toughest warrior you've ever seen. Got it? I want my mommy. Training began. We first started with hand-to-hand -hand combat. I showed them how to best their enemies even without a sword. Next, we began sword training. I showed them how to wield the blade and sparred with them for practice. Finally, I showed them each how to wield and aim a bow by shooting at targets. With the training completed, each soldier was provided with better armor and weapons. Finally, my knights were ready to take on the Dark Lord. Onward, my men! Yeah! 
On days 26 through 29, I set off with my group of knights to invade the Dark Lord's castle. Once we arrived at the gates, there were countless enemy soldiers already waiting. For the king! For, For the, the king! king! We all began to fight. However, my training really whipped these soldiers into shape. They were able to fend for themselves against the hordes of enemies. I fought with my men for a while, but the enemies kept coming. I pressed onwards into the castle so I could face the lord himself. Time to put an end to this. I rushed inside to find the Dark Lord waiting for me. So you're the new commander. If you want your friend to live, you'll have to go through me. I looked around and discovered Reinhardt captured in a cage. Bring it on! The battle commenced. She began to fly upwards and channel dark energy around her. I immediately began to strike at her with my bow and arrows. However, she was stronger than she looked. She summoned an army of the undead to overwhelm me. All the while, she shot powerful balls of energy at me from afar. Give up, you foolish knight. This war will end in your blood. Tough talk from a dead lady. I came in close with my sword and landed a few more hits until I finally managed to corner her. I got you right where I want you. After a long battle, I made managed to slay the Dark Lord, killing all of her goons in the process. Upon the Dark Lord's death, she dropped a diamond spear. After that, I broke Reinhardt out from his prison. Thank you, Sir Max. I will notify the king of the Dark Lord's death. The war is finally over. Reinhardt left, but I wasn't alone for long. Kato appeared in front of me. Congratulations. Prepare yourself for the next jump. Awesome! I'm getting really good at the sword. Yeah, that won't really matter where you're going. Suddenly, Kato snapped, causing me to teleport to the next timeline. On days 30 through 32, I was teleported to the Wild West between two cowboys. Wait a second. What is this? Three. Two. I realized I was in the middle of a standoff, and they were fixing to shoot. One. Rawr. I quickly rolled out of the way and avoided the bullet. Now I'm not gonna ask again. Hand over all your gold and we'll be on our way. I won't let you do that. Uh, who are you supposed to be? The name's Max. I'm from the future. <laughs> this spit bucket over here thinks he can stand up to Jebediah Bone. Let's see how you stand up to my bullets. I got hit by a few shots, and without any armor, they tore right through me. I had no choice but to make a run for it. <laughs> run away, coward. On days 33 through 36, I returned to my base to find that a cabin was built next to it. I don't remember building that. I checked inside to find an old man staring at me. What are you doing? Trespassing on my property. This is gonna sound weird, but what's the date? Why, it's 1890. You're in the Wild West, boy. The name's Doc Brown. Are you lost? Nah, my house is actually right next to yours. Great Scott! That's your pile of medieval rubble? That's right. Are you a time traveler? Yeah, how'd you know? The great, great Scott! All right, weirdo. I'll see you later. I got a war to end. I was a cowboy now, so I went inside my house and crafted an iron pickaxe. One step closer to diamond. After upgrading my gear, I decided to scout out the area more. During my travels, I came upon an abandoned mine shaft. I decided to explore it further and found iron, gold, and even diamond inside. It's my lucky day. With my new spoils, I returned home and found a mysterious chest waiting for me at the entrance. I opened it up and got a note, a gun with ammo, and a cowboy hat. Take these items with you on your quest. They'll serve you well if you want victory in this war. Kato. Sounds good to me. Yeehaw! On days 37 through 40, I headed back to town to see if the locals had more information. But when I arrived, no one was in sight. It's quiet. Too quiet. Suddenly, a group of outlaws ambushed me. I did my best to fight off a group of them. Luckily, I was already a pretty good shot. The rooftop bandits were good too, though. Hey, I just got that. I immediately got to gunslinging. Shots were fired everywhere. I fired my own gun back at them, but their onslaught of bullets wouldn't stop. I even tried using my sword and spear, but I was greatly outnumbered and haven't mastered my own gun skills. I thought it was almost over, when suddenly Doc Brown came in from behind. Don't just stand there, get shooting. The two of us covered each other and sent a flurry of gunfire back at the outlaws. With our combined skills, we managed to take down the whole group. Who were those guys? They were the men of Jebediah Bone, the cruelest outlaw this town has ever Ever known. They've been terrorizing these parts for a while now, and sooner or later they'll take over the whole county. Not if I have something to say about it. On days 41 through 44, I started to prepare for my attack on the outlaws. I traded at the town for some food and gathered some more materials. Afterwards, I returned back to my base and started to expand it further. I adjusted the theme to give it more of a southern charm. Not too bad. As I admired my work, the mayor rode up to me on horseback. Howdy, Max. I came to ask if you would like to be our new sheriff. 
What happened to the last one? He died in a standoff with Jebediah Bone. Are you up for the task? You bet I am. The mayor told me where I could find the outlaw's camp and even gave me a diamond knife and lent me his horse to travel more quickly. Good luck, partner. Don't get yourself shot. I rode off where the mayor suggested, traveling multiple days across the desert. Finally, I came upon the camp. Okay, time to get stealthy. I snuck into the camp, eliminating the outlaws as quietly as I could. Okay, only a few more. I took out a few more guys. Unfortunately, though, the last bandit caught me. <gasps> You're gonna pay for this. We began to duke it out. He was a worthy competitor, but I was a time-traveling warrior. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. After a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat, he surrendered. Where's Jebediah and the rest of the crew? They left to rob the town train. Oh, no. On days 45 through 47, I got back to town to see the train already gone. I quickly found the mayor. Jebediah is going to rob the train. We need all the finest cowboys we can find. Oh, God. We just loaded all the town's gold onto that train. Then we have to act fast. Tell whoever you can to find the train. I'll meet them there. The mayor ran off to find help, and I headed back to my base. When I got there, Doc was waiting for me. Hey, future boy, you're going to want this. He dropped me a strange shotgun and some shells. What's this? It's a semi-automatic shotgun from the future. It should come in handy. Wait, you're from the future? Yes, I am. Speaking of which, I need to get back to 1990. Good luck, kid. I said my goodbyes to Doc, then went back into my base to prepare for the battle. On days 48 through 52, I rode my horse down to the train tracks in hope of tracking down Jebediah. I traveled until finally I spotted a train stopped in the distance. Outside were a group of cowboys and outlaws fighting it out. I rode into the crowd and spotted the mayor fighting as well. Sheriff Max, I saw Jebediah enter the train. We'll hold off on the ones out here. Get in there and stop them. You got it. I pressed on through the gunfire and entered the train through its rear entrance. Inside, Jebediah's goons were waiting for me. It's high noon. I began to move from cabin to cabin, unleashing a flurry of bullets unlike anything the cowboys had seen before. There might have been more of them, but I was far superior in skill and strength. The train was never ending, but no matter how many cards stood in my way, they were no match. Show your face, Jebediah! Finally, I reached the front of the train and climbed a ladder to the top. There, I spotted Jebediah loading gold into a chest. It's over, Bone. Drop the gold and surrender peacefully. Well, well, well. If it ain't the future, boy, you come to dance for me again? <laughs> Let's do this the easy way, Jeb. No more bloodshed. Over my dead body. Jeb and I started blasting away at me, and I immediately started firing back bullets of my own. Unlike his men, Jeb was a skilled gunslinger. However, he did have one weakness, his ego. I quickly hid behind whatever I could for cover. What's wrong, boy? Getting scared? If anyone is scared, it's you. Come and get me. Why, I oughta. Without hesitation, Jebediah ran towards my cover, giving me the perfect opportunity to shoot. I sent a clean blow as he turned the corner, killing him instantly. Yeehaw! This war is over. But before I could enjoy my victory, I was suddenly teleported to the next timeline. On days 53 through 55, I found myself laying on the floor of a military base. What the? Wake up, maggot. You're cooking like an omelet down there. Ah, sorry, sir. I just... Whoa, what the? I realized that this man wasn't a man at all, but a chicken? Is there something on my face, recruit? Uh, yes, I, I, I mean, no, uh. Get back in line, recruit. Sir, yes, sir. I quickly joined the other soldiers in line and patiently waited for the commander's briefing. As I was saying, we are at war with the sheep. The sheep are the enemy and they will be punished for their crimes. What did they do exactly? Will someone tell this idiot why the sheep are our sworn enemy? They, they steal, steal our eggs, eggs sir. sir! That's right. They steal our eggs. Got that, recruit? Yes, sir. Now, are we just going to stand around and let these sheep steal our eggs? Sir, no, no sir. sir. Now, let's suit up and get ready to kick some sheep butt. Hoorah! Dismissed. I need to find my base and gear up quick. On days 56 through 58, I explored the military base in search of my house. Man, this place is huge! Suddenly, I spotted my base, but it was quarantined by soldiers in hazmat suits. Where did this thing come from? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's hundreds of years old. Uh-oh, how am I gonna get inside? Attention! Oh, uh, sir, yes, sir! <laughs> Addy, you soldier, it's just me. Kato? The one and only. I bet you're confused where you are now. You're in the modern era. 
he then tossed me a machine pistol, some ammo, and grenades. You'll find a workbench inside your base. There you can make more awesome weapons like these. <laughs> awesome! Thanks for all your help, Kato. Yeah, yeah, till next time. On days 59 through 61, I found a shooting range to test out my new weapon. This is freaking sweet! While shooting, a fellow soldier walked up to me. Hey, I'm Private Henrietta. We've both been assigned a special ops mission together. She then dropped me a note and a map. Execute target at this location. Protect fellow chickens during infiltration. Take out enemy hostiles. Zero 600 hours. Grab a sniper. You're gonna need it. But wait, I don't have a sniper. Just then, I remembered my workbench and how I could make one. I decided to check it out to see what materials I needed. However, as I arrived at the entrance, I realized it was still blocked off by guards. Uh, excuse me, can I go in there? What? We don't care. We're on break. Oh, that was easy. I headed inside and found the workbench that Kato had told me about. Let's see. I need 36 iron ingots for a heavy rifle, 6 iron nuggets, 2 stained glass and black dye for a long scope, 8 iron nuggets and gray wool for a specialized grip, and 4 iron nuggets and gunpowder for an advanced bullet. That's quite the grocery list. Better get started. I set off to gather all the necessary materials for my rifle. I started by mining some iron, as well as some materials I could potentially use for my base later. Next, I found a beach, where I dug up some sand for glass and killed some squids for black dye. Afterwards, I found a group of sheep, which I happily killed for the cause. Upon their death, they dropped gray and black wool. Lastly, I killed a group of creepers for their gunpowder. That's everything. I returned back to my base, but before crafting anything, I decided to first alter my place to look more like a military structure. This should keep eyes off of me for now. Finally, I assembled my rifle with my new materials and set off to the location of my mission. On days 62 through 65, I traveled until I finally reached Henrietta at the vantage point. Well, you took your time. I'm here now, though. Let's get started. I got to my post and waited with Henrietta for our soldier center of the area. You're a <laughs> pretty cool chick. <laughs> Quiet down. Here they come. We watched as our squad entered the compound. Everything was going well when suddenly enemy sheep started to approach. As the fighting began, I started to pick them off one by one. High value target in sight. Shoot to kill. I quickly turned my attention to the target in question. They were quick, but I managed to land my sights on them and get a headshot. Mission complete. Good job. Now get back to base. Not bad for a newbie. Thanks. On days 66 through 68, I returned with Henrietta to the military base. We were having a nice time chatting when suddenly the sirens started to go off. TNT began to rain down from the sky. The sheep were making an airstrike on the base. Henrietta, run! Bombs continued to rain down everywhere. All of a sudden, everything went white. I regained consciousness to find the base in total ruin. I turned next to me and Henrietta was on the ground. Help! Somebody! Medic! Kato suddenly appeared before me. Please, you have to help. I'm sorry. I cannot interfere with the timeline. You're a coward! She was my friend! These are the casualties of war, Max. You've done well so far, ending countless wars over the span of thousands of years. She is only but a speck across the endless timeline. You must move past this. Okay. Whatever you say. What do we do now? Well, this battle was lost, unfortunately, and it's impossible to stop now at this point in time. Is that bad? Not necessarily. But now you must travel further into the future to end the final war. The future war. Okay, let's go. Not yet. I need you to clean up a few things first. Here's a list. Good luck. Kato dropped me a list of tasks to do with a map and disappeared. But I was still feeling distraught from the earlier attack. Ugh. War sucks. On days 69 through 71, I walked around the rubble of the military base to find anyone who might have survived. The place was a wasteland, so I returned to what was left of my base and took out the list Kato had given me. Tasks for Max. Complete in this order. Number one, repair your base. Number two, grab the bazooka I left in your chest. Number three, find target X. They become a problem in the future. Blow up hostiles from a distance. Once complete, you will be transported to the next timeline. Kato. I started with step one and repaired my base with what materials I had on hand. It didn't look amazing, but I wasn't feeling motivated after what had happened before. Next, I grabbed the bazooka that Kato had left in my chest. Whoa. This is a bit extreme. I followed the map I had received in search of some mobs to test my new weapon on, as well as the target X. 
I found a group of zombies and fired a single missile at them. It was more than enough to wipe out the whole group. Dang, this thing is powerful. I continued onward until finally I came upon the location on my map. It was a plains biome that held a small farm with a single house. All right, this is it. Once I blow up whoever's in this house, I'll be teleported. Then there's only one timeline to finish after that. I took out my bazooka and aimed it at the house, but I hesitated. I don't even know who's in there. I put my gun away. I decided that I couldn't, in good conscience, attack without checking it out first. So I approached the house instead. I walked through the front door to find a mother sheep and her two children. I immediately felt sick to my stomach. Oh my god! I was about to kill innocent creatures! Suddenly, Kato appeared in the doorway. Tisk, tisk! You couldn't just follow orders, could you, Max? Now I'll have to do this myself. He punched me hard and then slammed the door. I was then teleported away before I could stop him. Oh! On days 72 through 75, I woke up in a strange, futuristic prison cell. Morning, Selmy. Ugh. Where am I? Who are you? I'm Chick Fury. Looks like you got fooled by Kato too. Let me fill you in on what's going down. Kato stole a time machine, and he's been altering the timeline to however he sees fit. He's just a normal guy like you and me. No way! Why would he bring me here? If you haven't noticed, we're locked in a cell. Kato wants to keep it that way. Lucky for you, I've been working on how to bust out of here. You gonna help me stop him? Absolutely! Chick Fury managed to break us out of the cell, giving us free reign of the prison. As we navigated the facility, we saw a bunch of other Maxes in different cells. Wait, 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 wait. There's so many of me. Why? Those are Maxes from other periods in time. They failed their missions, similar to yourself. Let's not fail this one. Come on. Whoa, this is heavy. We continue to run until we finally found the exit. I used my bazooka to blast it open into the future. On day 76 or 78, I searched for my old base so I could gather my materials. When I arrived, the place was covered in cobwebs and some cows had moved in. Well, this place needs some work. Before working on my base, I went to explore the future to see what kind of materials it might have now. During my travels, I happened upon a biome made entirely of diamond. Whoa, the future is so shiny. Well, when in Rome, I started to mine as much diamond as I could carry and headed back to my base. There, I upgraded it to look much more futury and gave the cows a small pen to call their own. That's better. Suddenly, Kato teleported behind me. Hello, Max. Kato, what do you want with me? The timeline, the multiverse, it could all be mine. But why risk shedding blood or breaking a sweat when I could have a Neanderthal like you do it for me? And how have I helped you? Each little decision you made, each swing of your sword, it got me one step closer to ruling the cosmos. But you had to go and fail your mission. Good luck trying to stop me. Before I could respond, he disappeared. In that very moment, I vowed to stop him and save the universe. On days 79 through 82, I set off to find Chick Fury. If anyone could help me stop Kato, it would be him. I traveled for a while until stumbling upon a tavern. Perfect. Maybe I can finally talk to some normal people. I walked inside to find that the place was full of aliens. Huh, I made my way to the front counter. Certainly they could still help me. Hi, uh, do you know someone named Chick Fury? Clop clop. Pardon? Clop clop. I don't understand what you're saying. My constant questioning made the alien angry. He pulled out a laser gun and started firing it at me. I had no choice but to fight back. I took out a gun of my own and started to shoot back at him. He was surprisingly scrappy. You're not a bad aim. Blah, blah. Ah! After countless exchanges, I finally managed to take out the alien. Upon his death, he dropped his gun. Ooh, future gun. Hey, did you say you're looking for Chick Fury? Yeah, yeah I did. Follow me. On days 83 through 86, I was taken to an underground hideout by the guy from the tavern. Wow, even the underground looks futury. We continued onward until finally reaching Chick Fury inside. Max, wow, you're still alive. We don't have time for small talk. How do I defeat Kato? I'm not sure, but I know a way to even the playing field. Follow me. Chick Fury led me to a strange laboratory. Step up on the platform. Uh, okay. I stepped up as he requested. This should only hurt a little bit. Suddenly, a machine booted up and started to zap me. 
When it finally powered down, I had been transformed into a cyborg. As a half-human, half-robot, I now had 30 hearts. This is incredible! On days 87 through 90, I returned back to my base to begin preparations for my attack. If I'm gonna be here for a while, might as well make this place real nice. I got to building, starting with a new additional room filled with a bed, bedside table, and even a bookshelf. Secondly, I created a kitchen with a crafting table, furnaces, and more chests. Next, I created a meeting room to plan out my battle with Kato. Lastly, I built a museum room to document all of my past battles. Man, this has been a crazy journey. And with that, my time machine base was finally done! On days 91 through 96, I was visited by Kato. You know, I could kill you in an instant, right? This is all just a game for me. Then just do it! No, this is too much fun. I'll admit, you and all the other locked up Maxes are pretty powerful, and just such a hoot. Good luck with your pathetic plans. He teleported away, but his comments gave me a great idea. I headed back to the prison and began to prepare for my new plan. I guess I have to be sneaky in every time period. With my diamond knife in hand, I snuck around the facility and killed guards as quietly as I could. Man, I've gotten pretty good at this. I was almost done when... Who goes there? Uh, must be nothing. Uh! After finally killing the last guard, I opened all the cells and freed all the maxes. On days 97 through 99, I held a meeting with all the other max clones. And then I was a sheep for a hundred days! Me too! Okay, favorite cereal on three. Three, two, one. Peanut, Peanut butter, butter Captain, Captain Crunch. Crunch. Jinx. Jinx! I prefer Bronzo. Guys, guys! We've all been brought here for a reason. Kato. Kato tricked us. Kato made us think we were doing the right thing. Kato used us for his evil plans. How do you expect to take him down? None of us could. None of us could take him down alone. But together, I'm confident we can defeat him once and for all. Hoorah! Hoorah! With our agreements made, I packed us all a ton of food and gave weapons to all the different Maxes. It's time to end this, Kato! On day 100, I arrived at the battlefield with my army of Maxes behind me. Kato stood on the other end with his army of cyborgs. My god, one of you was insufferable enough! It doesn't have to end this way, Kato. This can only end one way, Max. Me ruling everything and everyone. I'm sick of this! I charged into battle with my army of Maxes following close behind. At first, things were going super well. My army was far more skilled than a few buckets of bulls. However, as the battle went on, Kato was able to easily replace his fallen men. Additionally, my army was only human. Cyborgs didn't get tired like they did. Am I actually going to lose? Not today! Suddenly, Doc Brown appeared behind me with Gronk, Reinhardt, Henrietta, and Chick Fury. Guys! I can't believe you're here! Max Gronk's friend. Gronk help Max! My friends all joined the fight and began to fight off the cyborgs with the other Maxes. Now that the cyborgs were distracted, I turned my attention to Kato himself. No! No! This isn't how it was supposed to happen! Too bad, bud! We fought for a while, shooting back and forth at each other. He was a shockingly good aim. When we needed to reload, we switched to close hand combat, dealing varying blows with our blades. After a lot of fighting, Kato was badly injured. Hey, Kato. Ooga Booga. I swing my wooden club at him, killing him in one hit. With Kato killed, the universe was saved! Ooga Booga! Once again, thanks to Monster Legends for sponsoring this video. Make sure you download the game now and claim your free starter pack, which will help you get a head start and speed up your leveling process.